Buckle up, more CM Punk AEW drama news. A lot are coming out from three different websites, PW Torch, Fightful Select, and Wrestling Observer, all about CM Punk and issues he's been having recently since his return backstage in AEW. The first article I'm going to talk about is from Wade Keller of PW Torch. He has a lot of information that he's been told, so take this with a grain of salt. Obviously, this is all rumors from all three sites, so take... Uh, what you will for this. On Saturday at AEW Collision, Punk cut a promo after Collision had ended to the live crowd, calling out Hangman, but not in a way that you would think to set up a program or a promo. It was just shitting on him. This is what it said. This is what he said to the crowd live. Earlier today, I went to a local supermarket and figured out why they call him Hangman. It's because the pegs in the toilet are full of Hangman action figures because nobody wants to buy them. He's a peg warmer. Unlike me, who moves merchandise and pops ratings and sells toys, and then everybody in AEW is saying, I'm the heart, I'm the soul, I'm the spirit. Well, that's objective. That is literally what Punk said to the live crowd. Now, that's, according to Wade Keller, not to build a story or a future match with Hangman. It was not scripted. It was not something that they have intended to happen. Punk just said it. Now, why would CM Punk say this? Is it, is it because he's hoping to maybe draw them in to agree to finally doing the story? No, it's probably just because CM Punk's an asshole and he thinks that doing this is a positive thing. Also, Wade Keller does say that CM Punk did feel bad after saying this to the live crowd backstage and was telling people backstage that he felt bad for what he said. It's a little too late for that, Punk. Uh... CM Punk also reportedly made it clear that he didn't want Matt Hardy or Christopher Daniels attending Collision in person, which is funny because Christopher Daniels is actually a talent relations guy. He works in talent relations with the AEW. He's usually the one cooperating things from management to talent. You're telling me that you can't have your talent relations guy there and CM Punk can make that call? Punk also had a run-in with Ryan Nemeth, the brother to Dolph Ziggler, on the June 21st Dynamite uh, live taping. Uh, backstage, Ryan Nemeth showed up. Punk confronted him. And this is exactly what Wade Keller was told. Punk wanted to confront Ryan Nemeth about a tweet when CM Punk had said in his return collision promo that you're only as soft as the wrestlers you like. While Ryan Nemeth basically tweeted out that something about him being soft or something like that. I, I couldn't tell you because it's not in the article here. But CM Punk cornered him in the Dynamite locker room and where he got inches from Nemeth's face, angrily and aggressively asked Nemeth if he had a problem and if they needed to settle things outside. This is CM Punk telling this to Ryan Nemeth. Punk cited to Nemeth that his comments on Twitter inflamed existing tensions and that the optics of the tweet sent a bad message. I'm not going to disagree with that. It's not, not, not wrong. The incident was witnessed by numerous wrestlers and was characterized as very awkward and weird. Nemeth then moved the argument to the hallway where Punk continued to berate him. According to uh, the PW Torch sources, Nemeth defended his judgment in calling Punk soft since Punk fired the first shots by saying that you're only as soft as your wrestlers that you like. Punk pushed back and said that his timing was bad and worked against the public image, the public image they were going for and that everyone was either on the same page or at least not inflaming prior issues. Nemeth then asked Punk if he shouldn't react to things Punk says on TV. And Punk said that'd be the right choice at the right time. Don't fucking say things if you don't want people to comment on them. Then they shook hands, but it, the tensions were still high. Uh, um, between the two even after that. Um, apparently, Nemeth did ask some people and confide into some people close to him how he should handle the situation. They all said just to lay low, which apparently he's done since then. And obviously, CM Punk has way more pool behind the scenes than Nemeth, but this is just bullshit. Also, Ryan Nemeth showed up to Collision this Saturday to work a match, and when he got there, was told he wasn't needed, and they flew him right back home. Now, let's go on to this. This is very weird, and if this is true, I... I can't even, it's just so silly. We all know Tony Khan's a huge CM Punk fan. He's been a huge CM Punk fan. He always speaks highly on CM Punk. It's come out via Wade Keller of the PW Torch that when CM Punk first returned earlier this summer after his hiatus dating back to last year's All Out, Tony Khan stood up backstage in the gorilla position with his headset on, started pumping his fist and chanting CM Punk enthusiastically as Punk, Punk walked by to go to the curtain for his entrance. What? And I'll be honest, I've enjoyed CM Punk on the collision episodes that I have watched and the stories and the matches that have been going on, but what the fuck? Dude, Tony Khan just standing up, being the owner of this company, signing the elite to the biggest deals in AEW history, stands up and just chants CM Punk on his return. What a fucking mark. And I'm one of the biggest marks in the world. Now, again, this is all from Wade Keller of PW Torch. There's also been basically cooperating 
reported by uh, Wrestling Observer and Fightful Select, kind of saying similar things, but Wade Keller has the most uh, detailed article from PW Torch about all of this. So not all of this is in every article, but lots of bits and pieces are in the Observer that are in this PW Torch as well as in the Fightful Select articles. They all kind of share the same story. Some have more uh, detail than others, but guys, go check out all these articles. It is wild. I'll put all the links down below. Um, what is everyone's thoughts on this? My initial thoughts are CM Punk is a man child and he needs to grow the fuck up. What is everyone else's thoughts? <laughs>